Dead pelicans, toxic algae blooms, potentially linked to high nitrogen levels in Florida waters. New at 6 o'clock, ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella explains the reason people in Hillsborough County should be concerned despite strict ordinances. Lauren? Yeah, Laura, local researchers looked at retention ponds like this and they found that ones in Hillsborough County had higher levels of nitrogen fertilizer. So all of that runs off into storm drains, polluting our storm water. Thanks. Despite the smell, these kids are getting right in the dirt, learning to fertilize plants safely. You can see it over here. This is green. You see it? Yeah. That's a fertilizer That's right there. Manny Gill of Manny on the Bay says this kind of granulated time released fertilizer is better for you and the environment. It's less likely to wash away in a storm, a problem that can create a huge health risk. Toxic, toxic. The most recent numbers we have show homeowners in Hillsborough County reporting higher levels of toxic fertilizer running into stormwater drains. This is compared to Pinellas in Manatee counties. We're growing so fast that that's the reason we, you know, it's happening. In Hillsborough County, you're not allowed to use nitrogen based fertilizers from June through the end of September. But researchers found many homeowners simply don't know about this or hire landscapers who use too much. Benny Santiago saw the effects of toxic fertilizer firsthand when dangerous chemicals leaked into his pond. It, it killed all my fish. We had heavy rain. And I was surrounded by farmers. Local environmental groups are now urging homeowners to only fertilize once a year. They say March and April are the best times to do so before constant rain begins. So we asked Manny about some of the best ways to make sure that your fertilizer doesn't wash away. So he says that what you want to do is scoop away the mulch by your plants, pack in the fertilizer, and then recover it with the mulch. And that is the best way to make sure that your plants and fertilizer are protected from heavy rain. Reporting live in Tampa tonight, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.